Um, if you guys look at this example, now this example is a little bit different. And the reason why this one's a little bit different, what you guys can see in this example is that we now have terms that are separated by addition and subtraction, right? So just applying the rules of exponents is not, is not going to be able to work because we can't divide um, across addition and subtraction. So I can't just say, oh, the x squared is divided out, or 15 divides by 3. Because this 5 is divided into every one of those terms. Just like everything in this denominator divides into every single one of these terms. So the best way to do whenever you see um, terms that are separated by addition or subtraction is to apply factoring. Now you guys can see over here that we have um, a trinomial in the numerator and a trinomial in the denominator. So we're going to have to use our factoring technique, which we did last chapter. And if you guys remember the factoring technique, we can take a times c and put it over b. So I'll do this one over here and this one over here. So therefore, I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give you um, negative 5, but then add to give you negative 4. And then what two numbers multiply to give you negative 15 and add to give you negative 2. Right? Multiply, add. Multiply, add. So I'll help you guys out because I want to kind of go through these quicker. Um, so this one is going to be a negative 5, positive 1. Over here will be a negative 5 and positive 3. Does everybody agree that those multiply to give you the top number and then add to give you the bottom number? Yes, maybe so. OK. So now, remember, these are your factors. These are a part of your factors. So therefore, I can write this as x minus 5 times x plus 3 divided by x minus 5 over x plus 1. Now what you guys see is since we have factored them, what are, now you guys can see we have expressions that are now separated by multiplication. That's what factoring allows us to do. We have now factored it. So now, yes, I know there's a distance and subtraction, but these are inside parentheses. But you can see this and this are separated by multiplication. They're not separated by addition or subtraction anymore. So since they're separated by multiplication, I can apply the division property. And I can divide um, if they have the same, or I can divide from the numerator and the denominator. So since x minus 1 over x minus um, 5 is the same, that divides to 1 over 1. Right? Please make sure though you remember those divide to 1 over 1. So I'm just left with x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. And then remember also when we're looking at our constraints. Here, our constraint is x cannot equal x cannot equal negative 1, as well as, I'll go ahead and do that for you, Kara. x cannot equal, ne or you can grab those, but I'll give you some paper. x cannot equal negative 1, as well as x cannot equal positive 5. Because if x equals 5, that would be 0. And if x equals negative 1, that would be 0. So x cannot equal 5 and negative 1. So just make sure you guys are aware of your 